This is the longest video I have done in a long time. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mero and I teach creative people how to sell their art online. And this is the Zazzle tutorial series part five. We are in the middle, I think, of this Zazzle tutorial series. We started with why Zazzle? Why pick this print-on-demand marketplace and platforms above all else? What are the good things in the platform? We progressed and moved on to some statistics, dry numbers, which are my passion in life, comparing traffic coming to Zazzle to other traffic for other marketplaces, comparing their social media, comparing the gender of the people who visit each platform, and what can we learn from Google Trends about what people buy in these platforms? We moved on to part three, where we set up a shop and uploaded a product. It was not a personalized product though, because that was part four, showing you guys how to upload products that the buyer can customize by themselves, like change a name, change a photo, without you needing to do anything, and you still get commission. And now we're at part five, which is 35 shop ideas for Zazzle. It was mentioned in a lot of videos that Zazzle have over 1,500 products. And to be honest, I tried counting <laughs> how many products they have. It's just uh, not a really, uh, I don't know, not a, a true possibility. They just have so many products. And every single time I enter the platform and I search for something and I think, oh my God, this is really unique. This is really cool. I scroll down below and I find, oh my God, this is like really unique and really cool. So we're talking about a platform that allows you to open as many shops as you want, to upload whatever product you want to each shop that has all the products that I can think about. I mean, let's start with the basics of print on demand, the one that everybody knows. So we're having t-shirts and, and pants and shoes and flip-flops and you have mugs, but you also have latte mugs and shot glasses and stamps and business cards and skateboards. And it does seem like Zazzle has it all. And I think that the only thing that I thought to myself, hmm, they don't have this. Uh, one of you guys during the live chat literally asked me if I tried Zazzle Oreo cookies. So that's a thing as well. And with all that thing, with all that overwhelming feeling that I know a lot of people are experiencing, even before we were talking about Zazzle, I do know that there are a lot of people coming here to watch my tutorials, my design tutorials using Creative Fabrica Elements, just so that they won't have to go into Creative Fabrica and do all the research by themselves, because it's really overwhelming to go into a platform that has so many options. And I do feel like I was dreading making this video today. It, it was my, my favorite video to make and the one I was dreading the most because someone coming with ADHD with, oh, look, what's there? Oh, look, what's there? <laughs> this was a trippy start to my day. I can honestly say I spent four hours today up until five minutes ago, uh, where, you know, I put on lipstick and made my hair look good. And I spent four hours after weeks of being on the platform trying to narrow down 35 shop ideas, as well as sort of place these shop ideas in three different options or levels of difficulty from easy to medium to difficult. So I want to get started with this list, but three things I want to say first and foremost. One, if you really want to take this Zazzle journey seriously, whether it's now or in the future, I really recommend grab a notebook, grab a pen or a piece of paper and a pencil, whatever floats your boat, and write down some of these ideas. And while you're writing it down, for example, if there is a shop idea that you like and you're writing down the products, don't think that this is it because there might be a product in a different shop idea that could also fit your shop idea. And I would really like for you guys to keep an open mind. And if you have a design style, if you have a sense of art, if you have something that you already enjoy doing, as I'm showing you several products or design ideas with shop ideas, I want you to try and imagine how your items fit there. Second thing I want to say before we get started is that you might not find the usual print-on-demand shop ideas within this video. I don't have a shop for pillows or a shop for phone cases or a shop for gifts or even a shop for fashion or even a shop for wall art. I don't have any of those normal print on demand shop ideas just because you can do so much more with Zazzle and 
within these ideas that I'm going to show you, you can create those kind of shops. Maybe it will be a bit more clear once we get started. And the third thing I would like to tell you guys is that what I try to do with these shop difficulty levels is something I think also personal for me. I mean, if I had to look at creating custom invitations with glitter for a topic I know nothing about, like baby showers, that would be a difficulty for me. But I also tried placing these in order of difficulties based on the design level you're going to need, based on customization tabs. I mean, if you have to customize a million pieces of text, that's a bit more difficult to create a product because it does take a lot more time, especially when their system is a bit buggy. A bit. I also place difficulty levels based on competition that I do see and also based on how hard it will be to market this as well as how many products you'll have to put there to really call yourself this all-inclusive shop. These shop ideas have nothing to do with SEO research. I'm not going to tell you, hmm, these shops are going to be the most selling on Zazzle. I really don't believe that. And that's because I've seen so many people follow the keywords or chase the keywords and end up selling nothing because their designs were not good and they have no idea how to market something they really don't care about. So with those shop ideas in mind, I would like for you guys to remember that you are going to have to do some of your own marketing, if not all of your own marketing, especially at the beginning. And exactly for that reason, we have a marketing for Zazzle, which is the Zazzle tutorial series part six coming up on the sixth of the sixth which is Monday, 6th of June, with the Zazzle Tutorial Series Part 6, How to Market Your Zazzle Store. And also, other types of stores. No? Let me get my computer, because I really don't remember 35 shop ideas and their products, and let's get started. We're starting with the easy shop ideas, and the first thing that came to mind was for the love of football, because, hey, Zazzle has footballs, they even have that thing that you put the football on. So you can literally design a football, whether it's for playing or for display. Now, just because you can design a football and it's going to be a shop about footballs, that doesn't mean that football is the only product you can sell. You can also sell t-shirts for people who like footballs and mugs for people who like footballs and create football themed phone cases, whether they're monogrammed or customized and just let your mind roll. But using the fact that they do have actual footballs, I suggest for number one, the football shop. Number two, easy shop ideas is the impossible puzzle. And I don't know, guys, if you know what an impossible puzzle is. I'm, I'm not saying, you know, sell the impossible puzzle because I do believe it's an actual brand. The impossible puzzle is actually a clear puzzle that you also don't know which one is the f up and down and it's really hard to solve. But selling an impossible puzzle, you might have to, you know, drop ship from AliExpress but you can sell a very hard next to impossible puzzle to solve if you do something like what I did here. It might seem like a really nice photo, but this little photo is actually a 676 piece puzzle, which will be incredibly difficult to solve. People often like impossible puzzles, like one color puzzle, two color puzzles, even a checkered puzzle, which would be nearly impossible. And that could be a really good and insane niche of its own, especially if you're a puzzler. By the way, if this design looks a little bit familiar for you, I mean the pattern on this, that's because this pattern is from the bundle box of May, which means the bundle box that was released yesterday for you guys for $6 for 101 graphics and patterns for print on a man even as is. So you literally have patterns there to make impossible puzzles if that's what you want to do and there will be a link to the bundle box down below in the description. Idea number three for a Zazzle shop where in the easy category remember is believe it or not lipstick. What? Zazzle has lipsticks? Print on the man lipsticks? Really? Yes. Really, and not just lipsticks, but unflavored cherry, spearmint, vanilla, pina colada, watermelon, and birthday cake flavored lipsticks. So I quickly made the design that you can see here using Zazzle icons from their system of watermelons. But obviously, you can take like a really fun and creative watermelon pattern from Creative Fabrica, make one yourself, and sell it as a watermelon lipstick with vanilla as vanilla, or even make name, like custom name lipsticks which I'm, I kind of think I want to do. I kind of think I want to do it. 
If any of you here would like to create a custom name, super funky cool lipstick, you will find a link down below in the description to a Google form where you can go in and submit your designs for me to go shopping for my birthday. And I'm telling you, I am definitely looking forward to having some lipstick gifts from Zazzle. Moving on to number four, food labels. Uh, it might sound a bit dumb, but food labels are actually a big thing. Now, first of all, you have the food labels that what Zazzle calls a food label, which is create your own food container label. And you can design cool stuff like, for example, sugar, tea, coffee, flour, Himalayan salt, and stuff like that. Even stuff that says pasta or any kind of ingredient people might put in this, well, food container. But you can also use their stickers and sticker pack creator like sticker sheets to make stickers that are, you know, 100% nut free, lactose free, soy free, allergy stickers like may contain this or contain this, as well as vegan, vegetarian and stuff like that. People often go to buy these in box in those kind of shops and online businesses. And this could be something that a lot of people might want to get, especially when we're talking about allergies. So when I'm talking about food labels, I am talking about what I would use in my home, but also food labels that I would like to use to put on products that I might make or in case, you know, someone has an allergy or stuff like that. Moving on from that, because this was sort of an idea that took me to the next step because I was looking at these food things and I was thinking, you know, I did see a lot of people, for example, they have an Etsy store and they sell cookies. Yes, people sell cookies on Etsy and they can get those nut free or contain nut kind of stickers. But the thing is that everybody from Etsy pretty much that sells handmade, not print on demand, might also want some other type of stickers. And I'm talking about crafters and more specifically, maybe when I'm giving the idea of made for crafters, more specifically crafters who sell their crafts for a living. So we are talking, for example, about handmade stickers and not stickers you made by hand, but stickers that literally say handmade or even gift tags that they can put on their packages with or without foil, which is kind of adorable, as well as these tissue paper sheets that I literally designed using Zazzle. I found a handmade thing on Canva, put it on Zazzle, like made with love by hand or something like that, and then multiplied it and just gave it a bit of a pink background. And these could be really purchasable by people having an Etsy store or any kind of craft business online to sell their craft. And they want to make sure that their packaging and branding is all over the place. Whether this is something that they can do with their logo by duplicating it and changing the file or even, you know, just these handmade, made with love kind of stickers and kind of business merch. You can also create these gift tags and these stickers to be customized with the person's website name and their Facebook page or Instagram. Let your imagination run wild. Just go and check out what people are talking about, you know, how they package their stuff, what kind of material they need. People can literally design these gift tags and these stickers with a coupon code. So if you do something for a coupon code, for example, and then you leave a space for them to personalize their own coupon code, that could really be a good solve for people who otherwise would have had to go to a graphic designer in a print shop and pay more for what they would get from you on Zazzle. Shop idea number six from the easy category is alcohol lovers. And I do remember doing some uh, alcohol related designs when I was doing some design tutorials for Tea Public, for example, or I think it was with Printful or with Redbubble. These just, you know, the coffee mug, but just uh, put something on it like may contain alcohol or probably contains alcohol. So I'm not talking about those, even though those are pretty cool ideas. But what I am talking about is a variety of alcohol related products that exist on Zazzle, like beer glasses, can cooler, beer, like pints, as well as flask, a full flask kit with shots and shot glasses. Right after you drink yourself full of alcohol, you're going to wake up in the morning with a big fat migraine and you're going to need coffee. And the next shop idea, shop idea number seven for the easy category is caffeine addiction. And here you can guess what I'm going to show you because I'm going to be showing you mugs. The thing is that Zazzle actually has some really cool mugs. I love the fact that they have these huge latte mugs and especially the fact that you can create monogram designs for people to customize themselves and custom mugs and mug gifts were super trending on Etsy. And this is just a cool way to 
basically cut yourself out of the personalization process and make sure the buyer can just customize it themselves, even by putting photos on mugs. Moving on to shop idea number eight, small home decorative. And if you guys are in the live chat, I would love for you guys to tell me what do you think is going to be in this category? Because seriously, when I was looking at this this morning, I was like, huh? Who knew Zazzle had these products? And if you're not done answering your question, you can also try answering in the comments down below if you're not watching this as a live premiere, but I do have to reveal because it's so funny. So Zazzle has uh, doorknobs, <laughs> custom room signs that are foam and adhesive. They actually have light switch covers and lamps. And as I said in the beginning, you know, if you see an idea that clicks with you, just write it down in a notebook. But also keep in mind that I will be revealing several other products that might fit this idea later on. So there are some more products that could fit this. I just seriously couldn't stop laughing with the light switch cover. I just thought it's brilliant. Too bad it's very American because I, I have nothing to do with this light switch here in Bulgaria. But um, wow. Also, you know, the custom door room signs are pretty adorable, especially if you're going for the tea niche. The lamps are pretty cool, as well as the doorknobs. But you can combine each and every one of them with a variety of different things. I mean, the doorknobs could be for bedroom design. You can have a full shop just for lights, because they have a lot of different other types of lamps, as well as candles. And you can also make a full shop just for room signs for teenagers, like keep out or no parents allowed and stuff like that. But for idea number eight, small home decoratives. Idea number nine is called proud to be proud. And yes, I, I think I've been very uh, proud during the last few days and weeks in this channel because we are in Pride Month. Hello, June Pride Month. And it's going to be trending throughout the month. And I did even use these pride examples while we were doing a shop setup as well as the customization for a Zazzle tutorial. And there was a full LGBTQ community tutorial. I think I was designing mostly for Tee Public for there, but it might help you out and I recommend checking it out. I will leave a link to that one down below. But when I'm talking about proud to be proud, I am talking about different types of merch for the gay community. So we're talking about phone cases, about t-shirts, about mugs, but we're talking about pretty much anything else on Zazzle because they have paper cups. You can make them with pride flags. They have plates. Wedding invitations can be done for the LGBTQ community, and you can also design a pride puzzle. I just thought to put it out there as a niche idea because I know that this niche is trending right now. You can also do another niche that will probably be trending in the next few days, which is American pride, not pride in the sense of LGBT, but American sense, you know, we do have... 4th of July in the next month. So it's kind of a concept for a shop that contains a lot of other products. At idea number 10, celebrating the fact that Zazzle has so many really unique products, we're talking about Skater Boy or Girl, because Zazzle has skateboards. You can design a skateboard on Zazzle and people will buy the actual board. They can use it also for wall art, as Zazzle demonstrate a lot, or people can literally buy a full skateboard just on Zello. You could do personalized name skateboards, skateboards with photos, as well as cool patterns and I don't know, anarchist stuff. I'm guessing and maybe I'm going in through the stigma of skateboarders, as well as connected to t-shirt merch and even stickers for skateboards, which are hugely popular among the skateboarding community. Oh my god, I'm so thirsty. Keto gets you so thirsty, guys. If you want to do keto, learn from my mistake. Don't. That was a small side note. Moving on to number 11 of easy shop ideas, because this, I think, is probably the easiest. Play your cards right, because Zazzle has playing cards. Whether you do them monogrammed for people to use them at weddings, I really don't get American weddings with all these trends on Zazzle. Or you put photos on them, funny designs on them, or create anything else. You can design your own playing cards on Zazzle and make a playing card store. By the way, if you're doing a playing card store, why not do a poker store or bridge or blackjack or any kind of game, card game that you guys like? Because you can design other products that go along with it, like funny t-shirts for people who play poker, as well as money clips 
let's we'll say this is for my poker winnings or cool stuff like that even shot glasses could work well or a flask that says i only drink when i play blackjack there are so many different ideas but it starts with playing cards moving on to number 12 for our easy shop idea still on the easy i am calling this for your fur babies and that's everything for pets so you do have a lot of pet items on zazzle like you know pet bowls that are ceramic and you can create a, a design for a pet bowl that surrounds the entire pet bowl or a design featured in the middle and of course customize it or make sure it's customizable for people to add photos of their dog or the name of their dog. You also have your own pet tags that you can design and sell in a variety of different sizes. But the truth is that when I was looking into the pet niche, I found that most of the designs that are being recommended to me are actually photos of people with their pets, whether it's on a photo option like wall art of creating, you know, stuff with your pet photos, or on a puzzle or on a mug. So any merch for pets and pet lovers can be a really cool niche for a Zazzle store. With these 12 shops behind us, I think it's time to upgrade our abilities a little bit and create something that might be a little bit more complex but might get you more sales. So let's move on to the medium difficulty shop ideas for Zazzle. So, medium shop ideas let's kick this off with shop idea number 13 planners and stickers now i don't know if you guys remember because we were talking about this in a lot of zazzle videos they do have planners like notebooks that the insert is a full planner with stickers in the back you cannot design those stickers but what you can design is actually sticker sheets they have like vinyl cut stickers like die cut stickers that you can upload several designs onto it and it's going to show you how it's going to be cut. If you want me to make a full tutorial just about stickers on Zazzle and how to sell them, that video will probably include uh, other shop ideas. Please let me know in the comment section down below. I think it's a cool idea. But for now, what I can recommend for you guys to do is doing planners and planner stickers. You can easily design planner stickers for days of the week, for months of the year, for any kind of repetitive task people will need to do, either by using the kiss cut option, die cut option, or using individual stickers on sticker sheets. And this is kind of a cool thing. I did a bit of designing here with some of the designs I actually shared yesterday in the bundle box, which is kind of those self-affirmation, like trusting my gut and I am enough, just in colors and not in black and white, like it was in the bundle box. Now, while these planners might not be the biggest thing in terms of customization, because you cannot customize the inserts, you can definitely customize the outside of these planners, make them customizable with names, with dates, with whatever you want, and create a really unique store around organization and, I don't know, self-love, happy mental health kind of thing. I also think that this would be really cool to market around Instagram, especially if, you know, you have sort of your own style, you have good handwriting, and you can market those along with affiliating washi tapes from AliExpress and calligraphy pens and cool stuff like that. Next up, shop idea number 14, that yoga life. And I'm going to give you guys the two most obvious products here, a yoga mat and yoga leggings, because they have Caprice yoga leggings that look pretty cool, as well as personalized, customizable yoga mats. And I do have to say something here that I feel like I wanted to make a video about for a long time, and I would love to know if that is something that is interesting to you guys. I feel like a lot of times, so many people are trying to do print on demand with what everybody else is doing. When they do have a different thing that they're interested about, maybe even on social media. So instead of going to some platforms and going like, hey, I'm gonna go by keywords, I'm gonna go look at keywords and design and learn like how to design a t-shirt, Maybe if what you like doing is yoga and you have an Instagram about doing yoga daily, why not create print on demand items for that niche? And I don't know if you guys remember, if you've seen one of my first videos on this channel that was talking about how I started marketing my Redbubble store or even why I went to design a certain type of product is because I had a baby blog that I was writing about shops that sell stuff for babies. And then I was like, you know, Instead of just being an affiliate, I can design baby onesies on Redbubble and just write about myself. So 
I do often think about making a video for you guys on how to take your own hobbies and the things that you like doing in your own profession and make it into a print-on-demand business. Please let me know if that is something that is interesting to you guys in the comment section down below. But seriously, that yoga life with a yoga mat and with yoga leggings, they also have sneakers. You can also use hats for yoga as well as planners and stickers saying, I did yoga today. Medium shop idea number 15 is a fabric shop. Now, while this might be an easy thing, since, you know, if you know how to make patterns or if you purchase patterns, it's pretty easy. It gets kind of tricky trying to understand their measurements, especially if you're not American. What is a yard? And it's not just that it becomes tricky sometimes, it's also tricky to realize the dimensions you're going to have to use because they're measuring different fabrics in different dimensions and you have to make sure that it's seamless to those dimensions as well as make sure that your design is actually going to be printed nicely on that specific type of fabric because they don't just have one type of fabric, they do have multiple. On those news, I did not get a fabric from Zazzle to test out yet. But I do have here a fabric from Print on Demand Printful to be reviewed in the next few days or weeks. So something cool to look forward to in a quick short pop-up video that will probably be during this month. Moving on to shop idea number 16, and I called it the profession shop. And in this case, I'm not talking about any specific product, but I am talking about t-shirts, mugs, notebooks, face masks, and family members for any kind of profession. So for example, if you're talking about nurses, you know, a t-shirt like, you know, uh, ER nurse saving the day, mugs with ER nurse designs, notebooks, keeping my nursing thoughts to myself, or like, you know, m make a notebook of patients who pissed me off. Uh, face masks, maybe with a smile, or maybe, you know, like a cool face mask that the nurse can wear so that it won't scare off kids. And there is sort of this sub niche in the United States for every profession to have merch for family members to be proud of the person who works in that profession. And we have this from everything, from military, firefighters, police officers, nurses, and doctors. So merch, for example, for someone, like if you choose like a profession, dentist shop, then you can have a t-shirt saying, um, my smile is so pretty because my husband is a dentist. And you can also have t-shirts for kids saying, my father is a hero with the firefighting flag and all kinds of these professions with the regular and normal print on demand items, only that they will be in one shop for that specific profession, along with family members of that profession to make sure to maximize the amount of purchases that you could be making from one shop if one interested and targeted client walks in the door. Shop idea number 17 is delicious treats. <laughs> because yes, as I said before, Zazzle has all these cool things like brownies with photos on them. We have these like cake pops and also edible sort of tags for cupcakes as well as Oreos and a lot of cool stuff. Now, Obviously, these things can be connected to pretty much anything else. They can be connected to a profession. And now that I think about it, it's kind of funny to have these in a dentist-related store. But these could be for pretty much anything, whether it's for birthdays, for graduations, for weddings, for baby showers, for pretty much any type of event. And I do remember someone asking me if I ordered these. I said no. I said I would. It's a lot of money to order them. I don't care about the money, but I am on the keto diet, so I might not order these just yet. But I do believe that um, the day is close for me to order personalized Oreo cookies from Zazzle. Ah, okay. Moving on to idea number 18, which is bathroom decor. Now, if I'm talking about bathroom decor, what am I talking about? So Zazzle has, obviously, you know, the shower mats and the shower curtains. We all know these products. But hey, ceramic bathroom wall tiles. <laughs> What? So I was looking at that product and I was obviously, you know, also thinking about that shop idea for the small decorative home stuff. But what? <laughs> Ceramic tiles as well as towel sets. FYI, I ordered a towel set from Society6. Never got it. Um, contacted their customer support. Uh, they said they're very sorry. Do I want a new one or a, or a refund? I said I wanted a new one. They sent it. I never got it. And I keep forgetting to ask for a refund. And it's been like six months ago. 
Um, I'm not blaming society sick because of course that was just like a side note because I really do have ADHD and I just thought about it so I had to say it but um, I'm really kind of disappointed and I really hope like I have so many items coming my way I really hope that it's not gonna get into so much trouble because it's Bulgaria and some of these I don't know arrive to a post office in the city that is not here and then I get SMSs in Bulgarian which I can't read anyway drifting off and I'm going back to the bathroom decor idea for example wall art you can definitely design wall art for bathrooms because people do have these kind of funny uh wall art for their bathroom i rem i remember there were so many designs on etsy that i saw like someone sitting on a toilet and they were like a uh, four star or five star review uh will poop here again <laughs> great pooping experience highly recommended so there are a lot of things that you can do for bathroom decor even if they're not actually bathroom items on their own but you can still create a really nice bathroom decor shop using, well, Zazzle. Shop idea number 19 under the category medium is business cards. Now I place it under medium because you do have to do a lot of customization and not just customization, you're gonna have to allow a lot of different text areas to be customized in order to create a good business cards. Zazzle do have a lot of different types of business cards in various shapes and forms and it could be a really, really cool idea if you have an eye more for alignment and graphic design than for illustration and creating art. Shop idea number 20 is custom photo puzzles. And I did create the most easiest thing here. I created like a puzzle box, well, a puzzle with my photo on it and people can replace it with their photo as well as with my name on it and people can replace it with their name. But that's not the more complex idea that made me put this shop idea in the medium category you can create sort of templates of the photos that are circle, square, triangle, and create like sort of photo collages that people can customize, but instead on wall art, they will be on puzzles. People also use these puzzles, especially with a, a small amount of pieces to create like really cool invites, or for example, for things like baby gender reveal parties and other things that, as I said in the beginning, I know nothing about. Moving on to idea number 21, I like to call this one the businessman. So for businessmen, and again, for weddings, for events, for the LGBTQ community, for professions, but this is specifically products that I found to be fitting for a businessman kind of shop, cufflings, tie, money clip, and engraved pen with this like cool little box. Obviously, these can be gifts for everybody, but I do think that this is a cool idea for a businessman. You can also combine it again with a wedding or combine it with the alcohol niche. I don't know, maybe shop glasses and flasks and cufflings go together. Shop idea number 22 on the medium category, baby products. And by baby products, I don't mean baby onesies or baby t-shirts, even though they exist on Zazzle and you can place them in the shop as well. I just wanted to go to the more special items like a pacifier or a baby bib, which I saw a lot of people designing a baby bib with that like a necktie on it. So I just quickly did something like this. Obviously it's not the best design I ever did, but I kind of like it. So baby products is coming up at shop idea 22. Shop idea number 23 medium category is a footwear shop. I don't think I have to say much. We have flip flops and three different types of sneakers, whether they're high tops or low tops or just a slip and sneaker. And I do think that these are really cool ideas for shops. You're just going to have to be really cool with the designs that you made or even with customizations for people to actually buy them. Shop idea number 24. I made this into a medium one. Even though it's a one product shop, and that is the big card shop because Zazzle has enormous cards. And I thought that this would be a great idea to make a shop with this, with the big cards for pretty much everything. You're getting married today, our little boy is 12, our baby is born, it's a girl, happy birthday grandma, happy retirement, congratulations for finishing high school, congratulations for starting law school, so many different types of events that can be celebrated with a big card. Moving on to shop idea number 25, connected to the big card, a birthday shop. And for the birthday shop, we have here the birthday big card. We have normal cards, by the way. We also have mugs for birthdays. I also put in that cupcake thing with an editable top topper on top, like the editable 
thing. I have no idea what to do with those. I never had a cupcake party. I also put in a small balloon. I don't know if you guys can see the vase. There was a heart balloon in there. That's designable. That's a product on Zazzle, as well as just a simple photo collage. There are so many gifts that could fit a birthday. This is just to get you to get inspired. Also, you can do like stuff for birthday parties, obviously invites and stuff like that. And a lot of people might like a birthday tie for their birthday. But I just thought that these would be like really nice items to put together for a birthday shop idea. Number 26 and very recent in our memory of this channel's tutorials is the cooking passion. We had a full tutorial about the recipe niche, whether it's on Zazzle, on Society6 and on other print on demand platforms. But I would like to just, you know, remind you a little bit. With our cooking passion, you have products like aprons for adults and for kids. You have notebooks to design on Zazzle that have recipe inserts as well as you can design recipe cards and even recipe binders. You can also do a binder for someone's birthday and a binder for a dentist. Again, a lot of the products I'm mentioning right now could really hit the spot on a different shop idea. So I hope that if there was a shop idea that caught your attention, you're out there with a notebook and a pen writing it down. So with cooking passion being so over talked in this channel in the last few days, whether it's even wall art with cooking recipes or mugs with chocolate cake in the microwave recipe, and I'm so hungry right now, I will be moving on to topic or shop idea number 27, which is socks, socks, socks. So looking at Zazzle recommendations for socks, we have socks with patterns, socks with pattern and customized photos, socks that are monogrammed, and socks with various other designs on them, like bacon and egg. And I'm looking into that monogram socks and I'm like, oh my God, I would never even imagine doing something like this. And I could totally see like what in those movies where there is like this one person that has a lot of money, but doesn't have anyone to love him because everybody died and he has severe OCD and he's like walking around with like, like he, he go, he open, he wakes up in the morning and he opens a drawer with like, 25 identical monogrammed socks. Wow, this video is getting to me. Moving on to shop idea number 28, the get well shop. I didn't know how to call it. I thought I'd call it this way. And this shop can contain, well, the teddy bear. <laughs> you have a teddy bear on Zazzle that you can design what it says on its t-shirt. And that's a pretty cool item, as well as I put in here that small balloon thing from the birthday, you can also have a big card, a small card, and a variety of other products for people to get well. Also, these teddy bears can be for birthdays or for any kind of celebration. I just thought that a get well store kind of seems kind of cool. And if you have a lot of design on it, or even like funny and quirky custom text that people can change a little bit, add the name of the person they're visiting, I just thought it would be a really cool idea. Gia. Moving on to number 29 with Stamp Me, because Zazzle has stamps. And we're talking about various types of stamps, like for example, a stamp for businesses, for accountants to go like, chuk -chuk, as well as other stamps that people can use for crafting business. And I don't know if you guys realize that I just put this little chica on a stamp as well. And I kind of want to order that stamp so I can like stamp her anywhere I go. So Stamp Ideas is at idea number 29. The thing is, you can combine stamps within a business stationery shop and you can combine stamps within a crafting store as well. Moving on to shop idea number 30. Guys, we're almost there. The leather shop. And leather shop combines various other ideas. For example, they have the leather clutch purse with monogrammed initials engraved on it. You have leather covers that you can design with photos for your iPhones, like an iPhone wallet from leather, even a leather flask, as well as a leather holder for business cards. So the business card holder from leather can go to the bizman niche, and the flask with leather can go to the alcohol niche. But then again, these are all stuff made from leather, and Zazzle has a lot more other products made from leather or fox leather, and you can go ahead and check them out to make your own leather shop. Moving on to the last medium shop idea, shop idea number 31, wrapping paper. There are two types of wrapping paper on Zazzle to this day. The first being the set, the one you can see in front of you in the yellow. So you basically upload three designs onto three different sheets of wrapping paper. And the other one is a roll up. And I do know a lot of people who tried doing this, but ended up 
choosing the wrong dimensions for their seamless patterns, not understanding exactly how they should cut it or make it, and ended up making a mess and not making something that attractive. This is also relatively a hard niche. There is a lot of wrapping paper on Zazzle as far as I've seen, and most of them go by personalization as well as gift ideas. And you can create these wrapping papers, whether on their own shop or connected to niches that were mentioned already. So an LGBTQ wrapping paper, firefighter wrapping paper, football loving wrapping paper, and stuff like that. By the way, there is a tutorial coming up in the next few days, weeks with Zazzle wrapping paper. How to design it, what are the sizes you're going to need, including showing you guys wrapping paper. I ordered both of these as well as ordering the tissue paper to show you guys their quality from Zazzle. So wrapping up the wrapping paper idea with shop idea number 31, we have four more shop ideas to go in a different category, which is the hard work category for the Zazzle shops. But before we move on to that, I would like to take a second, stop right here and ask you, did you like this video? Did you find this content useful? If you did, please hit the like button down below because every time you do that, it really does help my channel and subscribe to my channel if you are not yet subscribed. And let's move on to the last four shop ideas, which will be hard shops to start selling on Zazzle. Number 32, we're having a baby. And the reason why I put this on a hard shop idea is two things. One, there's so much differences between the same type of merch. It feels like when someone is having a baby, they're having a million events or they're calling the same event in a million different names and you're going to have to design to fit all of these events. Also, anything with event planning and invitations contain a lot, a lot of text and you're going to have to stop at each one of these text boxes and make sure that they are marked to be personalized by the buyer. Otherwise, whatever you're going to design is going to be pretty useless. We did do this little it's a girl design together when we were talking about the personalized products, which was Zazzle part four. And of course, there is a link down below to the entire Zazzle series. So you can go ahead and watch that out to refresh your mind. But there are so many other products for we're having a baby. People are obsessed with baby announcements. How to reveal to my mom that she's going to be a grandma, revealing to my grandma that she's going to be a great grandma, revealing to my husband that he's going to have a headache, as well as baby reveal parties and cake toppers. And these combine so many different items that it's insane. And I might one day take an enormous amount of Ritalin and try to do a full tutorial on how to create a full baby shop on Zazzle, but till then, let your imaginations run wild and investigate some of the products that we already seen throughout this video, like those balloon things for the get well, or even the teddy bear with the customized t-shirts, or even, you know, the cookie Oreos that can be with blue on them because it's a boy. Shop idea number 33 is the Christmas shop. And when it comes to Christmas shop with Zazzle, we are talking about a lot of products because they have print on demand snow globes. They have, of course, wrapping paper that connects us to Christmas as well as calendars that people can customize. So, you know, instead of making that calendar for 2021, you can have people write 2022 instead. They also have tree skirts and stockings. And if you're looking at all these photos going like, hmm, that's very nice, but where is all the ornaments? I'll tell you where in a totally different design because there are so many different types of ornaments on Zazzle and they can all be personalized. The truth is a Christmas shop, a full Christmas shop can contain a lot of products and a lot of them are going to be trending very little time throughout the year as well as will have a lot of competition to them. Add that to personalized Christmas cards from our family with photos of the family. Add that to other Christmas-relating products like the ugly Christmas sweater or even normal socks, not stocking socks, designed for Christmas. A Christmas shop, a true one with a lot of products, can be a year-long project for one, two, or three months of, well, money. Moving on to idea number 34, which is kids' parties. We do have some of these cool items like paper cups and those silly birthday hats and even paper plates, which again can be used for baby showers. 
can be used for the LGBTQ niche, can be used for a dentist, can be used for various types of things, or birthday invites, like the one I found here from Winter Night Studio Shop on Zazzle. And again, kids parties is a whole new thing. And I do know that a lot of people, when they go to Zazzle, they're looking for themed stuff. And to be honest, it was really hard for me to find anything for kids, like themed for birthdays for kids on Zazzle that isn't a mega copyright infringement. And it got me really pissed off. It's been like 20 minutes angry on that and then moved on. But designing for kids birthday parties, make sure you're designing with those same elements, the same idea, the same concept, a million products. Because apparently people also buy t-shirts for kids for their birthdays, as well as so many other products that we've seen here, like those cake thingies, those balloons, even that big card, and a lot of other products targeting kids' birthday parties. And last but not least, number 35, and I marked it as the hardest shop idea to start, which is planning a wedding. Just because this thing has so much space on Zazzle. If you log into Zazzle and you click on create, you can see different types of categories for products. But wedding is a category on its own from their top eight. It's not even under event and planning with things like favor tags, favors and gifts, wedding signs, programs, seating charts, wedding invitations, save the dates, return address labels, stickers and labels, and a lot of other products for weddings that will all require to be sort of unanimous within their design style and highly customizable. I feel like uh, I can take a breath for a second and put my computer aside and wrap this up with a few extra tips from me on how to choose a shop idea. The first thing that I want you guys to remember is the fact that when we are on a marketplace, we have this struggle between I'm going to design what people want to buy and I'm going to just use this marketplace to sell my own stuff and I'm going to market them myself. So you need to think about this as your option because I don't know how many people go into Zazzle to buy an engraved wallet or go into Zazzle to buy a LGBTQ jigsaw puzzle. These are things that you're going to have to promote by yourself. And I do know that even if we go by the trending things, because everybody goes to Zazzle for baby showers and weddings, right? But there is so much competition of people who have sold much more than you, and you're going to have to design a lot of different designs and make sure they fit on everything to get those precious, precious customers. So I do want you to think about what you believe to be a good thing for you. What is a reality for you, for your design skills, and how you see yourself as a designer? Do you want to design more text designs that can be customized by people? Do you want to just upload your art and do cool, funky stuff? Do you maybe need to go to places like Creative Fabrica and download some resources to help you out or some cool banners and stuff like that? And even think about something that you are going to want to do long term that will not get boring after five minutes and that you won't get bored marketing it a year from now. Because we are talking about something that you will know how to market. And I think that's one of the reasons why I left the professions idea blank. It could also be hobbies as blank because we really are good at marketing the things that we do and we love ourselves. And one last thing that I do have to share with you guys is Zazzle actually has sort of a blog. It's called Ideas. So if you check out zazzle.com slash ideas, they really actually have cool ideas for shops including like what's going to be trending, what's going to be good to place together. And I do believe that listening to that bit of information can also help you out because there is a reason why they post these ideas on their website. And you might have a big advantage reading those because not a lot of people actually read the blogs of the print and demand marketplaces they're on. I would like to thank you all very much for uh, surviving this extremely long video. And I hope that you I don't know, have some ideas from it. If you'd like to share your ideas with me in the comment section down below, I would really love to hear them out, or even if you have dilemmas between different types of shops. We have some very busy days ahead of us with some really, really cool videos. I'm gonna be seeing you guys on Saturday with planning for National Bikini Day. It's gonna be a really, really fun video that I can't wait to do as well as next week on Monday with Zazzle Tutorial Series Part 6, 
which is all about marketing your Zazzle store or any kind of store. Another special video day you're not going to want to miss is on the 8th of June, which is Wednesday, which is National BFF Day, where I'm going to spend my day on YouTube buying some of your designs for my birthday. There's a link down below in the description to a Google form where you can go in and submit a design that you think that I am going to like. I am very much inclined to buying from Zazzle because I can use these items for shop reviews. So if you have something cool to design in mind for Zazzle, you can do that. Also Society6, Redbubble, TeePublic, Printful, Printfy, The Works, wherever you want to design. But if you do want to design something to Zazzle and you think that I like it, submit it to the form and hey, maybe you'll just get your first sale right after opening the shop and that will just uh, open your luck and I'll have a nice birthday gift for me. There is also a video coming up on June 10th with me finally starting KDP. I still don't know exactly what's going to be on this video. Uh, I'm really looking forward to it. I've been working a little bit about that on the background. And after that, there might be a short break that I'm going to take. You might not notice it because there might be content running in this channel. But after the 10th of June for about two weeks, there will not be live premieres. If you want to join in on live premieres and live chat fun, Every time I have a video, which means today, well, today's done, but on Saturday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday after that at 7 p.m. Bulgaria time, and I might change the times of the live premieres a little bit after that and create a full schedule for the month of July, but more on that when we get to the 10th of the month with me starting KDP and a channel's announcement. And with that being said, and with me disbelieving anyone actually stayed to watch this insanely long video, that was it from me for today. Thank you so much for watching. And as usual, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!